right, big moment today. This is the moment that I ordered the plans for our rowboats to take us in the Northwest Passage. And there it is. The die has been cast. These are our plans. And templates. When we started planning this journey, we knew that our choice of boat was going to be critical. We needed something that would be extremely seaworthy and fast and able to carry a ton of supplies. We finally settled on the road cruiser designed by Angus Boats. A high-end boat like this would have set us back tens of thousands of dollars. So I decided to put my carpentry skills to use and build as our own. This allows us to make reinforcements in key areas that might be exposed to sea ice. Plus, allows us to tweak our storage options to perfectly accommodate the expedition. The row cruiser checks all the boxes. It's made using what's called a stitch and glue method of boat building. The lightweight marine plywood is stitched together. And once the hull is formed, it's covered in fiberglass cloth and sealed with epoxy. This makes a boat that is both light and strong. So I made a big mistake last night when I was um, epoxying the hull panels together. I made a very simple mistake of forgetting to lay down wax paper underneath the underside of the panels. And now they got stuck to the plywood and I have damaged them trying to get them off. Some more than others. These two look okay. That one may have to get redone. Very frustrating and stupid mistake to make. But that's how it goes sometimes. Live and learn. Rowing is the most efficient and powerful method of moving across the water, and we wanted a boat that was able to cover big kilometers in a short time when the weather was good. This boat will average about 8 kilometers an hour and can sprint as fast as 12. The small sleeping cabin was what finally sold us on this boat design. Being able to just drop anchor and crawl into a cozy, secure bunk will save us massive amounts of time and effort while we're underway. Being able to stay on our boats will also provide a huge safety buffer against polar bears, which are extremely common on this journey. The total darkness of the cabin will also be a huge asset when trying to sleep during the Arctic summer, which has close to 24 hours of daylight.
All in all, these rowboats are going to be a critical member of the expedition, providing us with safety, comfort, and speed to explore the wilderness of the Canadian Arctic. All right, this is a big moment. <laughs> Finally, we're going to start wiring the hull together. So, got a little stack of copper wire. All of our holes pre-drilled. And these are the two bottom panels. So when we open it, that'll be the two bottom pieces of the boat. And we'll build up from there. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Thank you.